Alright, so nagbabalik tayo sa ating violin tips and tricks. And for today's video, let's talk about how do you effectively jam with other musicians? No? How do you effectively uh, play with them? No? Yung mga, let's say, bago mo palang na-meet, no? or if you just want to play around with other people, no? not really in a structured manner. No? Ano yung mga pwede mong gawin? Ano yung roles na dapat mong gampanan? things that you need to do and practice in order for you to be effective in that role no sa pakikipagjamming with other musicians okay yan yung pag-usapan natin on today's episode okay so this stemmed out of a question in a previous video i i posted no nagtanong sila how could you be improvising with other musicians so i think kasi yung pag-improvise is just a part of you know, overall playing. Kasi, hindi naman lagi ka mag improvise I think it's better to actually look at it na part siya ng ano, pakikipag uh, kapwa or how you actually uh, say or create those ideas in your head with other musicians. Okay? So, usually kasi, pag nakikipag-jam ka, let's say, in a very, very casual setting, <coughs> jamming with friends, ganyan, di ba? Usually, nagkakapaan. But you have to understand that you should know roles, no? First things first. Dapat alam mo yung role mo when you are playing in the group, no? So, di ba? Yun nga. Usually, sa band setup, merong drummer that provides the beat. Merong basis na nagpo-provide ng stability, di ba? Merong, merong lead guitars, merong rhythm guitars. Minsan, may violin, no? Ano ba yung ginagawa ng violin dun sa... sa group na yun, no? So, minsan sa mga events, di ba? Sa mga weddings, ganyan. Yung violin, usually yung lead na instrument. Pag mga instrumental pieces yung tutugtugan, anong gagawin natin? We play the main melody. Pero pag may kasama na tayo, iba pang main uh, melodic instruments, like let's say saxophone or flute, nagbabago-bago na yung roles natin, no? We could also stand as a support, no? Pwede tayo mag-support dun sa main melody ng ibang instrument. Or especially kapag may singer na, then iiba ulit. No? So, you have to embrace roles. No? Minsan, kailangan you, you stand on the side. Hindi ikaw yung bida. No? Hindi ikaw yung, yung kakanta. Ika nga. More of a uh, supporting role ka muna. No? Minsan, may bigla kang pagsosolohin. So, dapat alam mo kung saan ka lulugar. No? You can't really take uh, others, other people's parts. No? So, hindi naman pwede, oh, dahil melodic yung instrument ko, puro melody na lang yung tutugtugin ko. What if may kasama ka pang iba, no, natutugtug din ng melody, and let's say magkaiba kayo ng instrument, let's say flute, mas maganda yung tunog ng flute for that specific song. Siyempre, pag sinabayan mo yun, kakapal lang yung sound, and you won't really contribute as much as, you know, being a second voice, no, tugtugin mo yung third above niya, tugtugin mo yung uh, sixth below niya, or whatever you need to play, di ba? you have to understand your role in that setting. No? So, kung nakikipag-jam ka, oh, minsan okay lang tugtog kayo lahat melody. Pero, para mas masaya, mas maingano kayo mag-play, di ba? You wanna try and play different parts of the music, no? So, ang tanong, paano mo hahanapin yun? Di ba? So, unang-una, you always have to rely on what key are you in. Di ba? Usually, yun naman yung tinatanong. Especially if, hindi ka pa masyadong gamay sa mga songs or first time mong narinig, di ba? Usually kasi, the, the key or the tonality would provide a lot more info. Kasi once you understand the key, let's say, you're gonna play in A major. So, alam mo yung scale ng A major. So, any note within that scale, malamang sa malamang, pasok siya doon. So, you, can, you don't really need to play specific riffs, di ba? palagi kasi minsan wala naman talaga dun. so any note in that scale papasok yun so if you know under, and understand that scale mas madali yun di ba so konting application ng music theory another thing is aside dun sa tonality if you understand chord progressions di ba o ano ba yung mga uh, chords na pwedeng puntahan if you are on A major kahit walang pyesa di ba alam mo na agad kung saan siya yung mga relationships ng bawat part ng music kung saan siya pupunta and it would be easy for you to play it by ear or maggawa ng sarili mong let's say riffs off of whatever the other people are playing or you could even stay on one note pag hindi ka masyadong sure as long as that note passes on 
to all those chord progressions. So, ano ba yung mga notes na yun? Kung nasa A major ka, hindi eh, pasok yung A. Di ba? Kasi, La or La. Kasi siya yung tonality nun. Or maybe you could play an E. No? Or Mi. Yan. So, yung mga ganun, it's, it's a basic thing to note. And it's very basic to learn those types of things. Alamin mo muna kung anong key. And then you can play around with all the notes in that key. Kasi sigurado, pasok yun, no? Unless na lang magkamali ka. Pero it's, it's not that important, no? When you're jamming along. Usually, you, you play wrong notes, that's fine. As long as hindi mo naman mapapahalata, no? Kasi there's, sabi nga nila, there's no such thing as a wrong note if you could literally put it in. Kasi minsan, di ba, yung mga dissonances na naririnig natin, it actually creates this feel or this vibe na kakaiba na you might want to accept it in. Di ba? Yung kaya nga nauso yung mga 7th chord, yung mga just chords, di ba? So, syempre, you have to also put in the context ano ba yung tinutugtog mo? Kung, kung pasok ba talaga siya? Kung hindi, edi stop muna. Yan. Di ba? So, practice your scales. Yun yung importante if you wanna jump and you wanna play around with other people. No? Kahit hindi mo nga alam yung pyesa, alam mo lang yung key. That could give you a lot of information that you can work with, di ba? So, pag nakapakinggan mo kung ano yung tonality nila, sundan mo. Try mo muna i-play yung melody in your head and then try to play around with notes na papasok doon, no? So, maybe you could support the main melody kung madali mo siyang nadidistinguish or you can play, uh, you can play an octave lower. Sometimes, pasok, di ba? Ano ba yung mga pasok? You could also play, I think, third, no? Or sixth, yung mga ganun. So, aabangan mo kung saan pumupunta yung melodic line niya. And you play beside it or you play above it or below it. <clears throat> so that you add more than just pampakapal ka lang ng melody, di ba? Especially if you are a violinist. Kasi, di ba? Yun nga, sabi nga natin, yung violin usually talaga puro leads yung piniplay niya. But sometimes you really have to to take on other roles, no? Pwede ka rin magplay ng uh, rhythmic Uh, passages, no? So, you could provide rhythm as well, no? Since the violin can play chords, no? You can play simple uh, chords or even just, you know, uh, two double stops para lang meron kang ibang feel na maibigay uh, instead of just playing along with the melody. Diba? So, there's a lot of things that you could actually do. And one thing that is, I think, underrated to do is actually stop. Sometimes kasi hindi mo naman kailangan bigyan ng sobrang emphasis yung part ng song. Let's say, for example, verse. Verse nung song. <coughs> Sorry. Konti lang yung kailangan instrument na tumutunog. ba diba? Kasi may, may, may sinasabi, let's say, kung may singer ka, the singer wants to be able to be heard. So, pwede kang tumigil. You can stop. If you're not sure of what you need to do, you can stop. If you're, if you're not confident in what you're playing, stop and listen. No? You don't just stop and wala, wala ka nang gagawin doon. When you stop, you have to actually listen to what's happening para alam mo saan ka papasok, saan magandang kumapal yung sound, saan maganda kumapal yung tuno. Diba? So those types of things are really important to know. Okay? And actually, I think playing or jamming along is actually also a skill. No? Hindi lang siya basta, oh, nakikito, nakatugtog ka na, ganyan, ganyan, play lang kayo ng play. No? You have to develop it as well. So, how do you develop it? By experience, no? Sa kakatugtog mo, alam mo na kung ano yung pasok ng mga nota, alam mo na yung mga pasok na riffs when you're playing a certain piece, a certain uh, type of music, ano yung mga pwede mong ilagay, ba? Diba? So, through experience, you just need to play along, play along. You don't even actually need to practice with other people. You could actually just practice with them with a minus one or yung original audio ng isang piece or isang song na gusto mong i-play and then you just play around with it. ba? Diba? Play through it. Yan. Yung mga pwede mong gawin. Kasi listening and their experience with what's good and what's not is very, very important in playing along. No? Especially ganun nga kung wala masyadong arrangements usually. ba? Diba? Kapag nakikijam ka lang. You, you wanna try to contribute, you wanna try to add value to whatever you are trying to play, but you don't want to give too much that it breaks up the the vibe or the cohesiveness of the group. 
'di ba? Minsan kasi ganun, pag sobra-sobra na 'yung binibigay natin, may natatabunan tayo ibang mga business. So, wanna keep everyone happy. Everyone doing their parts and enjoying uh playing as well. Because at the end of the day, if you are jamming along with other people, ang pinaka-importante doon, everyone is enjoying what they're doing. Because they know their roles, they know what to add or what to take away. And, you know, overall, just enjoy whatever they're doing. Yeah. So, sana nakakatulong tong video na to. If you did, please do drop a like. Comment down below more content you'd like to see. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on all my socials. All the links you need down in the description box below. This has been Ryan Manakil for Violin Tips and Tricks. And I'll see you on the next video.